guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're here for just like a really quick video. I wanted to put this for my viewers who don't watch my vlogs and they more so watch like my sit down videos. I wanted to um, make like an official video announcing why I am deciding to stop breastfeeding. Okay guys, like I said, this is like really short, sweet, um, but I just wanted to sit down and like give you a formal video as to why I'm deciding to stop breastfeeding. Um, this was a really, really hard decision for me to make. Riker is four months old as of tomorrow, and so he is um, supplemented half with formula, half with breast milk up until this point. And um, starting next week, he is having breast milk probably only once or twice a day. Um, I'm doing a morning pump and an evening pump still for the first week or two. And then I'm slowing it down to just one pump in the morning. And then I will be off completely um, by the time he's about four and a half, almost five months old. Now the reason that I made this decision is because I tried everything under the sun. Um, I have tried all of the supplements. Um, I get a lot of questions as to whether or not I tried legendary milk. Yes, I did try those supplements as well. It just, my body wasn't reacting. Um, I get a lot of questions in regards to um, like if fenugreek affected my supply. And I actually noticed on the days that I didn't take my fenugreek that my body produced a lower amount. Now it might've only been an ounce or two less, but an ounce or two was a lot in the long run. Um, so actually fenugreek really did help me. It just didn't help enough. Now, ever since I switched from breastfeeding to pumping, my body has had issues trying to adjust to that change. Um, Riker was fully breastfed until he was two months old. And then after that, after I went back to work, I was pumping, um, exclusively pumping, because as soon as I introduced a bottle, little man was like, no way, I'm not drinking from the breast anymore. Um, and at first I was thinking because he like wanted his milk faster. I actually think it was the opposite reason because as soon as I would try to breastfeed him, because there were still times in between them where I would have like an evening breastfeeding session with him and the letdown, my letdown was so forceful, it was so fast that he had a really hard time um, trying to um, like, drink it down fast enough when my letdown was coming. He'd always choke when my letdown would come in and it was difficult. So um, he was fussing at the breast, etc. I know that that's the best way to try and boost your supply, but he just wouldn't take from the breast. So um, anyways, I, at that point at about, you know, two, you know, two months or like, like nine weeks, um, is when I was really pumping um, exclusively. That's when my supply first dropped and um, I did have enough of a supply in the freezer to kind of comp for that um, drop in my supply. But we ended up turning to formula. And now the formula that we use, I'll stick a photo up here somewhere for you guys. We use the Enfamil Neuro Pro Gentle Ease. Now with Kaya, um, I dried up around five and a half, six weeks, and we transitioned immediately over to formula. It took us a long time to figure out which formula to use, and eventually figured out that um, I think it was the Gerber Soothe is what was best for her. We could get it at Sam's Club. The proteins are broken down, so it's easier for baby to digest. Um, I think this is similar amongst all sensitive formulas. Um, but anyways, we jumped straight to the Gentle Ease or the Gentle Formula this time, knowing the issues that we had with Kaya. And he's been doing really, really well. Um, he still has a mixture, like his BMs, his bowel movements, his poops, if you will, um, TMI. But like, if, just in case you guys are wondering, he did not constipate um, when we did this, which was really nice because it's been a slow transition for him. He has like a mixture of like breast milk and formula fed um, poops. <laughs> So it's, again, been a really nice transition for him. So now that he's mostly on formula, um, he does still have that mixture. So you can definitely tell he's still having breast milk in his diet, even if it's only a couple bottles a day. Um, he is doing really well. Um, 
Anyways, I've gotten a lot of questions in regards to what formula I use. So that is what I use for formula. Um, now let's get to like the real raw reasons as to why I'm deciding to stop breastfeeding. So I had um, I had a UTI back, I think it was like maybe a month ago almost now. And as soon as I got on my medication, my antibiotic, my supply dropped immensely and then i got what i would refer to as like my first real cycle since having Riker. it like my first definable cycle um and my supply also dropped immensely it was like tremendous like i was i went from pumping seven ounces in the morning to only two and a half ounces it was a serious drop and it was really hard for me and i stuck through it and i pumped and i pumped and um, I power pumped, I would pump up, up to 10 times a day, eight to 10 times a day, and 30 minutes at each session, because once you hit three months um, postpartum or three months of breastfeeding, it's less to do with like your hormones for production and more so to do with the frequency of your breastfeeding. So even with the frequency and how long I was pumping at each session, I was still producing next to nothing. And you guys know pumping is like no easy feat. You know, breastfeeding can be easier in the sense where it it doesn't hurt as much. I don't I don't know, but I 30 minutes, eight to ten times a day, like pulling my you know what's off, like was really hard and to see just the little output from that from all that work still getting next to nothing was really difficult for me. Um I again tried everything under the sun as far as, as far as supplements and my lactation consultant said that there was I can't remember what the medication is I'm sure um, one of you guys can leave it in the comments below but there is a medication that you can take that will up your milk supply but it also increases um, like weight gain things like that um, and I just I can't risk gaining any more weight where my BMI is at right now um, I just was not comfortable with that. I've been working really hard, especially through my entire pregnancy, to try and keep my pregnancy weight gain at a minimum. Um, and as you guys know, I lost all of my pregnancy weight within the first two weeks of having Riker, and I still have quite a ways to go. So I, it came to the point where I was barely producing, even after my cycle ended and after I was done with the antibiotics, I was hoping it would come back up. And I had a video where I said, yes, guys, my, my supply has like slowly been coming up. And it, it did, except I was hoping that it would come up even more to the point where it was previously and it never came back fully. So with that being said, it kept, it all of a sudden turned once I hit like, I would say like my plateau of my production, it started, you know, decreasing, decreasing, decreasing each day, and it was really difficult for me. So now in the end, again, I was back to only two and a half ounce pumps in the morning and two and a half ounce pumps in the evening, which were like my two biggest pumps of the day, and then in between it was anywhere from only one ounce to like half an ounce for a 30 minute pumping session. So. I decided between that and trying to work out and lose weight and be the healthiest that I can be for both of my kiddos that it was just time to admit defeat. Um, it was really hard for me trying not to be a ball of hormones here. I'm weaning, so like, forgive me, I'm like such a hot mess. Um, but it was a really hard decision for me to make. I don't know why it's so hard for us mamas to admit defeat. You know, for those of you who, who have struggled with milk supply, I'm sure that you can relate. It is a very hard decision to make. So my heart goes out to all of you out there that, that have had to make this decision, that have always struggled with milk supply and worked really hard to have the supply that you did have. I get it, I get it mama, it's so hard but I'm coming to terms with it. Um, I still get emotional talking about it because I really do love breastfeeding. Um, I just feel that it provides this deep connection with your baby, even if you're just pumping, just knowing that you're providing your child with your own body. It's just such an incredible feeling. Um, so yeah, again, it was very hard for me to just throw in the towel and say, you know what, for me mentally, physically, and you know, 
for, for Riker as well, because in turn, if I'm not feeling 100% mentally and physically, I'm not going to be the best mama that I can be either, you know, to either of my kiddos. So this was ultimately the best decision for me. I feel like, you know, for almost five months, by the time I'm completely done breastfeeding, that's a good chunk of time. Um, it's better than I did my first time, and hopefully my next go around, it will be even better, and I can learn from this experience and my previous experience and maybe start pumping a little sooner um, or trying to stick to the breast as long as possible. So I am a full-time working mama, so breastfeeding full-time is just not an option for me um, at this point in time. So anyways, that is why I decided to stop breastfeeding. I'm ready to lose the rest of this um, fluff, this weight that I gained. A lot of it's from my first pregnancy and some weight that I gained in between um, becoming pregnant and getting married, which was like maybe five and a half months. I put on like 30 pounds in that time while trying to conceive. So right now I have a total of 60 pounds that I wanna lose. So if you guys wanna join me on my postpartum weight loss journey, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. If you wanna follow along on my family's journey here in our crazy life, also make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I share a lot of day in the life videos. I'm very raw, I'm very real. I, I share all of my experiences with you and all of my tips and tricks that I learned along the way that might help you out in the long run. <laughs> all right you guys that is going to wrap it up for this short and sweet video i got a little chatty there but again thank you so much for tuning into this video it was a very hard video for me to sit down and make and admit to you guys that i am done breastfeeding but i hope that this will help other mamas out there and to know that it's gonna be okay it's hard but it's absolutely okay, fed is best, and your mental health and your physical health is also very important. So, again, I will see you guys sometime in the very near future, as in hopefully tomorrow, with another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys. <laughs>